Okay, and we're back, and uh, I just kind of want to show you the process of what I do when I'm actually uh, going to customize some painting. Uh, like I said in the, the previous part, I uh, went ahead and used the uh, Craftsmart metallic acrylic paint, uh, which you see right here. Uh, this is actually called uh, White Pearl and it is metallic and uh, I also uh, combine it with some of this gray Craftsmart acrylic paint and of course I thin it down with some of the uh, windshield washer. Uh, so I went ahead and used a little medicine cup here and I poured a little bit of the uh, metallic White Pearl into the uh, medicine cup couple drops of the uh, gray Craftsman acrylic paint and uh, a couple drops of the windshield washer itself. Uh, once that was put in the medicine cup, I actually, I don't know if you guys remember this or not, if you still use it, it's the uh, Badger airbrush uh, kind of mixer. And I basically, once the paint was in there, I just put it in there and I just uh, blended all the uh, components together once uh, I was satisfied with that and uh, it was actually dripping off my toothpick I knew it was ready to put into my Pache airbrush and uh, with that we started uh, spraying the exterior of the uh, hull and all the uh, exterior components and parts that went with it so basically that was my process as far as uh, making up my own customized uh, paint to uh, reflect what was on or as close to the uh, cover art on the box as close as possible. So with that being said uh, we will go ahead and uh, show you some of the uh, results of of uh, the paint once I've already sprayed it on there. So we'll be back soon. Okay, so here are some of the uh, results of the uh, customized painting of the uh, Millennium Falcon. Uh, everything is nice and dry at this point. Uh, what we're looking at right now is the lower half of the hull on there. So we'll kind of do a quick little turnaround. And uh, so you can kind of see from all sides here. So... I think it came out pretty good. There you go. So that's, uh, like I said, one half of the uh, hall right there. And the upper part, we'll bring that into the camera. So, uh, here is the uh, upper half. We'll do this a quick little spin around. So you can see from all sides. Alright. We'll kind of get like a little bit closer look. Like the heat vents and all the little machinery and components on the upper half. So you can see that. Like I said before, this is a combination of the uh, white pearl metallic paint mixed in with some of the uh, gray paint mixed together with some windshield wiper fluid. And uh, this is kind of like multiple uh, coats, you know, I did with a start off with a light coat and uh, just kind of worked it a couple more coats. Um, so, hopefully, uh, I know it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but from my perspective, you can see some of the black uh, pre shading underneath the uh, the uh, base coat of the uh, white pearl and the uh, the gray combination. So there you go, there's that. And of course, uh, we have our cockpit that we uh, went ahead and did. So, 
there's the final results on that and this is a couple coats if you're wondering what's here in the front uh, it's basically I just uh, took some pieces of cotton and kind of stuffed that in with the uh, interior of the cockpit itself so since I've already had the figures and everything painted as well as inside the cockpit I was trying to uh, keep it from any overspray going into the cockpit itself rather than trying to tape everything off so uh, that, that's what that is right there but uh, as you can see all the way around so that is the cockpit and then we have uh, some of our exterior part of our gunner assembly so that's that right there so that's done now and we went ahead and took some and sprayed uh, the parts on the uh, uh, tree sprue so we have part of our cockpit right there as well and all the other little that's part of the antenna array mounting uh, piece so these are just kind of a uh, small little parts that uh, we kind of sprayed that to match the color of the exterior hole so that's there that's that one there and then we kind of started with some of the landing gear and kind of uh, sprayed that right there as well same color as the hole so there's that can flip this around here you can see part of the rear engine like so and one of our final trees we have here and the other part of the underside of the uh, gunner so there's that right there that should be part number 41 there on the E2 tree of course there's that there too and this is part of the uh, radar I guess you want to call it the radar antenna there's the one side and there's the opposite side so like I said this is where we're at right now as far as uh, the painting details of the uh, Millennium Falcon and uh, we're moving along so with that being said uh, stay tuned for uh, the next episode, and uh, I hope everybody has a good day, and we will catch you uh, on the flip side. So until then, this is Kodak Enterprises, and we are signing off. So long. Bye.